Hello, today I'm going to unbox Logitech MX keys. Okay, so as you know, I've been using this uh, Apple default keyboard, I make default keyboard for quite some time. So, what I don't like about this keyboard is um, uh, it is actually good. Okay. Just the problem that it is it doesn't have numeric keyboard numeric keypad and even with numeric keypad it is uh, quite um, expensive it's around 500 almost okay so today I'm going to unbox this MX keys because I've been looking at um, the alternative to Apple keyboard and I found that that this is the 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 best that everyone has been recommending uh, for uh, Mac okay because uh, first Mac keyboard and uh, Windows keyboard they have not much difference but just that they have this uh, the keys like this command options yeah and then the uh, they don't have function keys but instead they have keys like this okay like the for brightness for uh yeah it's almost pretty same like the apple keyboard okay so that is why i'm i'm picking this one up for my mac okay so let's uh unbox it so let's unbox this shit You have to set certain uh, keyboard. I guess this is the the USB. Okay, don't put it somewhere like this. Okay, so this is the cable for charging. Yeah, still the same old USB. So this is a keyboard, and let's set it up. This is it? This is how it looks like. The keys are very very smooth, and it's a little heavy compared to my previous keyboard. The keys are very smooth to touch. Okay. and let's switch it on and one thing is this keyboard can be used for more than one display okay so you can use it for maybe like me I have my uh, my iMac here so I have my MacBook there so I can use it for more than one display okay so so no need for me to type here then type here then type there and type there okay so no need so I can just type in one keyboard, it can control all this, okay? So, let's switch it on. So, let's start. I think first by setting this keyboard for which display. So for first display, I'm going to pick this, okay? And after that, I'm going to um, for instruction I need to uh, press function and O function and O which is function button okay function and O um, I finished setting up this uh, the keyboard okay so this keyboard is for uh, uh, device number one okay so for device number one uh, I'll connect to Bluetooth uh, for this uh, Mac okay so what I do is okay when you want to add a new uh, what I call it uh, device you can just uh, go to add device here okay and add Bluetooth device okay and it will appear here okay magic keyboard and it will connect okay 
it will connect so it will appear as this keyboard okay and once it's connected okay it will appear as MX keys and after that after you finish pairing it will appear here at number one okay but make sure you press this one just now okay and after that I have my another one which is my uh, MacBook I will also install this software here okay and what I'll do is I just do repeat the same process I just add the device which is uh, here down here okay and add Bluetooth device here and after that it will appear here at number two so you can easily switch between number one and number two for example if I pick number two number one for example is number one yeah okay number one okay so you can easily type uh, here for example Google okay Google okay so it will show here okay and if I choose device number two okay it will connect here and I can just type in here for example okay all right Google okay so it will type here okay no need for you to key in here and key in here okay so, uh, so we have one unified keyboard for this for these two devices and i will show you how to uh, set it up for ipad as well okay uh, if i want to key in if i want to pair with my bluetooth device here okay, on bluetooth keyboard here with my ipad i can just key in here okay so I pick the number three. So you have to press and hold. Okay, press and hold. After that, you pick these keys. Okay, and after that, you type seven one six three seven eight. Okay, seven one six three seven eight. Enter. Okay, so it will connect. Okay. So this is going to be your, uh, so let us test, I have my notes here, okay, for example, I, I write a new one, okay, alright, so even without typing here, I can just type here, okay, see? So it connect to three devices, three, my iMac, my MacBook, and my iPad. Okay, so I just need to switch in between these three. Okay, all right. So it's very easy. So th this is the features that I like the most about this keyboard. Is it's switchable between devices, up to three devices. Okay. So, uh, but of course, when you want to switch between devices, for example, I switch to three, for example, for iPad just now, right? Okay, which I type here, and we appear here, okay? All right, so when I type here, it appears here. You cannot type the same thing for here without switching the device first. So if I want to type in at a device iMac, for example, I can just choose this and then I can continue back typing here okay so very easy so this is very very useful uh, for you in the event that you need to switch uh, type between devices okay so this is very 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 useful okay so and after that you can check whether all the devices have been registered so you can see here my Mac, iMac, MacBook Pro, and iPad, okay? And that's it. It will be 
synchronized throughout all the devices yeah so you can see here uh, it hasn't updated yet <laughs> okay okay but here it has been updated okay so meaning to say uh, it is used for all the three devices very very easy that is why I buy this keyboard compared to the numerical keyboard by Apple despite the price is almost the same price for Logitech uh, MX keys is almost the same with Apple keyboard magic keyboard uh, with numerical but I think this spec more features because I can use this for three devices without having to have so much problem and then this also can be used for windows as well so i have my pc here okay but since that i already full use all these three so my pc will still stick to this keyboard okay so no 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 choice okay unless um yeah i think this is the most i can use because normally sometimes i have three meetings i can just uh have meetings here and then switch it on here switch it on there so i can just easily switch between uh, screens so you, the most you can switch is actually like three okay three devices this one they also give you this logitech uh, unifying bluetooth okay this is actually for you to uh, unify your bluetooth connection for one particular device for example yeah, um, I can use my mouse Logitech mouse and Logitech keyboard and add more up to six devices of Bluetooth using this one unifying device okay so uh, it's very very useful okay so but I'm not going to use this because it seems that um, I don't need it now okay because I don't have Logitech mouse uh, I think I'm 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 good enough with this mouse. Why I like Apple mouse because Apple mouse to me is good enough to me because uh, this mouse is a bit flat. Okay, it's just like you put your hands on your table like that. To me, it seems natural, but uh, to some people maybe it's not really good. But to me, it's natural. Okay, so what we can do is, uh, you can scroll up and down. Just scroll like this okay and i also can scroll left and right um no oh, yeah i can scroll left and right okay okay so left and right and vertical scrolling is just from this mouse i prefer this compared to a trackpad or any other mouse that is using mechanical scrolling this one is very very useful and if you want to double click it it uh, uh functions like normal mouse double click okay and left click and right click okay. the one setback of this magic mouse is the charging base is behind here i would prefer it to be at least in front here so but yeah seems that they want to keep the ergonomic uh, aspect of this so they don't be like that so there there's a dock uh in uh that's sold in lazada or shopee that you can just put on the dock and it will charge yeah i would i, I don't i don't need to buy that because uh, normally if i think the mouse uh battery is falling i can just dropping i can just uh charge it overnight and if you charge this it can last you for maybe two to three weeks okay so very very useful uh, mine the, the pad is a bit dirty sorry for that okay so that's it for my video i think um i explained everything about this keyboard and mouse i think you can consider this as uh, your investment it's very good very useful switchable and then uh, the combo is with the existing apple mouse should be good enough already so this is my um, final setup of this i still keep the apple keyboard here just in case okay just in case that i'm switching to other device like two or three
key in uh, the first device I can just key in, uh, like usual okay so just keep it okay so that's it thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe bye